Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how we can use geometry nodes to transfer normals between meshes and this is very useful to create smooth blending effects like this. So yeah, let's start. So I've prepared this very simple scene here which is built in Eevee and it includes a crown plane a sunlight and some rocks and all of these rocks reference the same geometry node tree and in this node tree I already used the set material node to apply a material to all of these rocks. And now the first thing I'd like to do is to create an attribute which I can use in my shader and this attribute should contain the distance of our rock mesh to the ground plane. And this can be done in our geometry node tree by creating an object info node. And here I choose the ground plane. Then I set it to relative. And for the distance, I use the geometry proximity node with the ground plane as the target. And to capture the attribute, I can use a store named attribute node. Then I use the distance as the value and I type distance for the attribute name and then I can create an attribute in my shader and I also have to type distance in here. And right now you can see that we have the value in our shader. And this value can for example be used to blend the ground shader with our rock shader. So to do this I simply copy the ground shader. You can create a node group out of this to synchronize both shaders but in this tutorial I won't. So I simply copy paste it then I create a mixed shader node and here I use the factor as the mix factor and right now it takes a while to compile. You can see that it is in the wrong order, but instead of switching the inputs, I simply use a color ramp. And here I invert the values. And I also can adjust, adjust the contrast. So yeah, you can see that it blends really nicely. Now, while being very useful, the interesting part is to transfer our normals. And this can be done with a transfer attribute node. And here I use my ground geometry as the source. Then I change this to vector because we need the normal of the ground plane. And then similar to what we've done before, I store this in my rock geometry as a vector. Then I use this as the value. And for the name, I can't simply type normal in here because that's an attribute that already exists in Blender. So I have to give this another name like normal new. And then I can simply get this attribute in here by typing normal new in here and here you can see that the vector 3 is transferred to our shader and if we for example take this and plug it straight in our normal for both shaders you can see that something happens. But right now the whole normal of our rocks is overwritten. And what I'd like to do is to blend the normal right here at the ground with the top so that we have here at the top our original normal from our rock and at the bottom our ground normal. And this can be done with our already existing attribute we have here, the distance. And then we blend the original normal 
which can be accessed via the geometry node we have. So if I plug this in here, you can see the original normal. And to mix both of them, I simply use a mix RGB node. And for the factor, I can use the distance. And to adjust the distance, I use the color ramp again. And here you can see that it blends nicely. It isn't perfect. And that's primarily because of our sunlight and its shadow. And you can see it here where the meshes intersect. There's still this hard edge and also the specularity causes some problems. But while not being perfect, it's still a very useful thing to have. And it can be used for various kind of effects. Here you can see the same setup with a more complex shader and some textures and it really is a very flexible setup which is very very useful in my opinion. So without transferring normals you see these very harsh edges and with transferring the normals looks kind of nice. We can use the same method to give, for example, grass this kind of fluffy, non-realistic look. So this is without a transferring normal and with. And in my node tree, you can see that I here have my procedural ground and here I have my grass. And I've used the same method like before. And yeah, it looks really, really cute and fluffy. And for some scenes, that might be the desired look. In this example here, I've used the same method to plant the branches of the tree with its trunk more nicely. And you can see the difference without and with the transferring normal method. And this is especially useful when you use a shrink map method for these branches to give even more smooth blending. I haven't used it here in this example, but still it kind of looks okay. But we have here these shadow problems. So yeah, it's not perfect, but with sh shrink mapping, we can use kind of a more curved look, but that is for another tutorial. And finally, here is a scene where I've used the same method to transfer my normals from these spherical objects to the leaves of my tree. And this way I can give it this very fluffy and cute look. So without the normals and with the normals. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've liked it and see you next time.